Hey guys, Russ here with bishopswest.com. Wanted to take a few minutes today to talk to you about using a gated reverb effect within PreSonus Studio One. Um, we'll start with a basic example, just a snare drum, and then do something a little bit more fun with the synth. If you've seen my videos that I did this, kind of the same thing with Cakewalk or with Bitwig Studio, you'll kind of know what's coming. But um, of course, in Studio One, we'll have to do it a little bit differently. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in PreSonus Studio One. And um, just to give you a little background on what gated reverb is, it was a way to um, have reverb on a sound, uh, traditionally a snare drum, that you could then cut off very suddenly so it wouldn't keep ringing on throughout the mix. So you'd have a really, really strong reverb, but then again, be able to cut it off at a, after a very short time. Um, this was popularized popularized back in the 80s, I think, by Phil Collins. Um, so just to let you hear what it sounds like, here without anything, just my snare sound. Okay. Just a basic snare. So what I started with was I added a mix reverb, or a mix verb. And this is what it sounds like with that. Just large hall, large hall sound. And what's interesting about the mix verb is it actually has a gate built in. Uh, specifically, I assume for this kind of thing. The problem is if you listen to it, it's super short. Like even if I take it up all the way to 250 milliseconds. It's not exactly the effect that I'm going for. Okay, so that was the first thing I tried. I didn't like it. So the second thing I decided to do was to set up a snare bus. You can see it right here. And on the snare bus, I've got my mix verb. It's the same setting, basically the large hall. And this is what it sounds like. But then I added in the gate too. And what I've done is now I'm able to kind of set the hold and the release a little bit more. Whoops. <laughs> Here's what's going on. I forgot the snare bus to enable that. There you go. So now you can hear that super long reverb. So now what I want to do is enable this so that it cuts it short. So here's what it sounds like. See? So where before it was going strong, but then ringing out for a long time. And again, kind of muddying up the mix, um, reducing clarity for all the other instruments that you might have going. This one cuts it really short. So what I did was I chose SD1, snare drum one, but then I played with, with the settings here a little bit. So release, of course, is just how long it takes it to close when it gets ready to close. And hold is how long it holds it out before it closes, before it goes into that release phase. So you can play with that. See how that sounds a little bit more natural, just letting it die out a little bit longer, release a little bit longer. Okay, but that's kind of up to personal preference. But that's how I had to do that. I had to, um, because I wanted to be able to control my, my wet mix versus my dry mix, so I just put everything on a bus here. That way I've got my wet mix, my, or my, sorry, my dry mix going to the main channel to the to the main out here but then on the bus I'm able to control um, the mix verb a little bit better you see I've got the mix to 
I'm able to just to, it gives me more control over everything that I've got going on there. Okay, so that's gated reverb on a snare drum. Now, like I said, I wanted to show you a little bit something different using a synth. So I've got my Zeta Plus 2 set up here. Um, if you've watched my Cakewalk video on gated reverb, this will look very familiar. It's just a basic sign. And then I added just basic distortion, the soft drive. Okay, and what it sounds like by itself is not that. Okay. Sorry, let me disable everything else here just so you can hear what it sounds like by itself. Okay. And so the first thing I had to do is create a synth bus and um, the first thing I added was this sound shifter. Okay, so let me enable this again. Disable those just so you can hear. And this is just so you can hear the effect of what's going on. Um, it'll take the original signal and then shift it down by 12 semitones. And again, I don't think I do that in the real mix, but just to make it obvious. Okay, the next thing I did was took this mix verb. Okay, that's not the mix verb, obviously, that's a compressor. This is the mix verb. Um, and I just use that same large hall um, preset. So you can hear it kind of ringing out. And now, Tried using the gate, it kind of works, kind of doesn't. I decided I didn't want to go that route, so I used the compressor instead. And what I've done is I've taken the ratio all the way up as far as it can go, took the threshold all the way down as far as it could go, the knee down, although it doesn't matter when the threshold's down like this. Um, and then over here, I'll get to that in a second. The side gain, I turned it all the way up so that it's, um, working as hard as it can um, and then attack i took all the way down to zero release i've got up here at 22.5 milliseconds uh, we can play with that later but the important thing is i enabled the sign chain and then down here i inserted another send on the synth channel sending it to side chains um, this this compressor here okay and so whenever it receives the signal from the synth the compressor is going to kick in and take the signal all the way down because I've got this shut all the way down here not letting any of the original signal or not letting um, the reverb work on the original signal until I let go so this is what it sounds like Okay, so you can hear really clearly when I'm holding the key down all you hear is the original signal as soon as I let go though that's when the reverb comes in okay so now um, without the sound shifter So you can kind of see what's going on up here in the graph too. It's only shutting it down when I've got that key pressed. So um, just something to play with, have fun with. If you have any questions, please definitely leave them in the comments below. I'll try my best to answer them. Otherwise, have fun playing with it, um, experimenting, and see how you can use this in your mix. Have a great day.